All right, so my question is, in John 17, 3, why did Jesus say that the only true God is the Father? Okay, good question. Now, Ahmed, if you believe that verse, that means Allah the Quran is Satan. How? Is Allah your father? No. But Jesus said the only true God is his father. John 17, verses 1 to 3, if you read verse 1 to 2. And Jesus looked up to him and he said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. And you've given him authority over all flesh that he may give eternal life to all those whom you've given him. So Jesus says the only true God is his father and that the father glorifies him as his son. And Jesus glorifies the father the same way father glorifies Jesus. So is Allah the father of Jesus who glorifies Jesus and makes Jesus Lord over all flesh, even Lord over Muhammad? Um, no, no, I don't believe that. Okay, so then this verse shows that Allah is Satan and Muhammad is Antichrist. So are you a Muslim? Well, uh, well, I don't really, I don't have like a view on the Bible. No, but I'm just saying that verse shows the only true God is the one who is the father of Jesus, one with him. So if you believe that, you got to stop being a Muslim. So when are you going to reject this now? All right, well, I know, I know you're saying that if it says father, then it's not the same God. But what I'm asking is, why does it say that the father is the only true God? Because do you want Jesus to say that they may know you, the only false God? Because if the Father is the only true God, then Jesus will acknowledge it. But the same Bible that you're quoting, Jesus is acknowledged as the only true God with the Holy Spirit. Because here, Jesus says the Father is the only true God. But in Hebrews 1, 8 to 12, the Father says about Jesus that you, Jesus, are the God who reigns forever. And you, Jesus, are the Lord who created the heavens and the earth. So do you believe what the Father says about Jesus? Well, I'm, uh, let, me, let me search that up. Hebrews 1, 8 to 12. Well, well here, I, I don't believe that. I okay, believe so then. Why go to my Bible when it shows that Islam is false? If not, unless you can accept my Bible. Well, uh, well, I just. All right. Well, I have another question regarding the Bible. Okay, but before you ask me a question, I'm going to ask you one. You say your Quran only, right? Yeah. Can you show me in the Quran when the Quran was revealed? Uh, no, no, I can't show it. Just going by the Quran, can you show me where the Quran says what is the Quran? How many chapters make up the Quran? Uh, just from the Quran alone, I can't. So then, why are you Quran only when it's self-destructive? Well, it's because I feel like the Hadith, lots of the Hadiths are made up, I feel like. Yeah, but without the Hadith, you can't even tell me what year Muhammad was born. When was Muhammad born? Well, you can't tell from the Quran when Moses was born or when Abraham was yeah, born. Yeah, that's that's your problem. That's, our, that's exactly our point. That's your problem. So you can't even make sense out of the Quran without going to outside sources. Either the Bible to explain it or Hadith. So why do you pick and choose? Well... Well, I'm Quran only because I feel like all the other sources they're not they're not authentic. Yeah, but that's my point. Without those sources, you can't tell me when the Quran was revealed. Okay, I, I see your point. Are you ready to confess Jesus? Okay, good. Let me know when you want to contact me on Skype. Here's my Skype. Say I'm that guy, Golden Trimmer. I'm ready to confess publicly. All right, he's ready. Oh, guys, he's ready. But it's late there. Can they hear you? Well, then here, let's write it out in the text. Write it out. I confess Jesus Christ is Jehovah in the flesh. I confess Jesus Christ is Jehovah in the flesh and believe God the Father raised him from the dead. Write that out. Oh, he did it. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Blessed God, three in one. He did it, guys. I confess Jesus Christ is Jehovah in the flesh. I believe in my heart God raised him from the dead. He did it, guys. A Muslim renounced Muhammad, Islam, and he now confessed Jesus, Jehovah in the flesh, and he believes in, in his heart God the Father raised him from the dead. He did it. Now, one thing I want you to say. Jesus Christ, I love you, and I confess you as my Lord. My life is yours. Let me repeat. Jesus Christ, I love you, and I confess you as my Lord. My life is yours. Jesus Christ, I love you, and I confess you as my Lord. My life is yours. Amen, amen, amen. And we are your witnesses. He said it, brethren. Shakur was a Muslim. Shakur was a Muslim, and he gave his life to Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit. Another praise report. Another one. Z, Sam, thank you again for guiding me out of the occult of Muhammad's disciples. I'll pray for you. The Holy Spirit, glorify him for using me. Do you believe, and in your own mouth, I, Lavan, believe Muhammad is a false prophet? 100%. Do you believe Jesus Christ is the Lord and God raised from the dead? I believe Jesus, he's the Lord, and and he rose from the dead after and three he days. Lives, and he, rose, he lives forever? Of course. 
and according to John. to the earth? Yes. Okay. You've actually confessed Christianity. Go and get baptized. Go find you, ask the Spirit to show you, and go and say, I have confessed Jesus is Lord, God, and Savior. He's a son of God, one with the Father and Spirit. I believe he's alive physically, will return physically, and I'm ready to get baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, and begin my life serving Jesus. And it's done. I looked at this debate with uh, with Brother Sam and Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, and... my first public debate, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that was it. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm going, I'm going back and forth. I was like, yeah, they're making pretty good points, but I'm like, I think Shabir's like kind of on to something here with the three buckets of water. You Come know? on. And <laughs> you think I lost that debate? That's it. <laughs> Absolutely not, light. brother. No, I watched, I watched it again after I talked to my brother. So I called my brother, Zach, and I said, you know what? Like, it's kind of here and there, you know, but he goes, now I want you to go back. Okay. And I want you to go back to this and I want you to watch it again and notice how Shabir never really answers him directly. He gives his own personal opinion. So I was like, okay, I go back. I watch it. I was like, holy smokes. You know, he's, he isn't. He's giving him, himself his own quotes and so on and so forth. You know, so I um, I called my brother up again. And I was like, can you please explain to me the triune God? He goes, look, we believe in one God and only one God. Okay? And um, so we, God has come to you in three different forms. You have the Father. You have the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? He goes, there is no such thing as three different gods in the Bible. Amen. There is no such a thing. And I was like, man, that really makes sense, because every time I turned to a Muslim, I was like, and even as myself, I was like, how can there be three buckets? How can there be, I was ready to say, three buckets of water? <laughs> you know, so I, um, I, I used to say that. But I'm thinking to Shabir, I was like, you really think of God, that we're talking about God as three buckets of water? As smart as you are as a human being, you know, and... and so on and so forth. Guys, I'm a plumber, okay? Not to take anything away from anybody else, but I understood that. That is so easy to understand, it's not even funny. So all these times in my, in my past, I was like, no, nah, I, can't, I can't listen to Christianity because they believe in three different gods. Can't do it, man. You know what I mean? I don't believe in that. You know, and uh, that's kind of when the truth arose, and I started stumbling across your guy's show, Jesus or Muhammad. So I want to go to the root source, which is Muhammad. You know, and man, man. I cannot explain it. My socks blew off when I started watching your guys' show. And I'm like, man, and to all the Muslims that are listening, please, please understand that these gentlemen here are not here to hurt you. They're here to tell you the truth. Listen to me. They're here to tell you the truth. They're quoting things out of your book, out of my old book, the one that I thought that I loved and believed in. You know, but I was always filled with this anger, you know, and anger comes from your beliefs, what you're guided by. You know, and from the passages that I've read, uh, which is which is little in comparison to the, how big the Bible really is, is love. I am falling in love with God. Amen. Amen. I am falling in love with God, you. guys. I don't know what to say. Amen. You know, and uh, and you can't theoretically take that away from me. You know, and there's been a little blurbs now mentioned to my family. They they seem to know where I'm coming from now, and of course, you get in the unacceptance. I, I don't remember the last time a, a Christian uh, disowned his son. I'm not saying that that's what they're going to do. You know what I mean? Um, you know, but there is definite talk of, you know, we can't have this and we can't do that and so on and so forth. And you turn around and ask them, guys, have you ever even read the Bible? No. Are you, I said, are you scared? They're like, no. I was like, well, read it. If you're so sure about your word, what's the point of not reading? Why don't you go and learn? You know, and the the thing is, there's nothing to take away from anybody on my side uh, of the religion. It's just that you guys are blinded, you know, and I was blinded. Nobody ever tells you what is actually behind the scenes. They want you to be peaceful. Yes, they do. Muslims really want you to be peaceful. But what, what the brothers on this show are trying to tell everybody is that that's not the actual source. The actual source is not peace, you know, and there's evidence. There's evidence to prove it, and these these guys here are presenting it to you. You know, whether you're choosing to take it or not, you know, I would open your eyes, you know, and like you guys would open mine, you know, and of course, and I thank God, and I never used to say these things, I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for putting the knowledge and power into these gentlemen that I'm watching on my TV screen right now.